Yo, what's up guys, it's x -Race. welcome back to a Call of Duty Ghost video. Today we're going to be talking about Call of Duty Advanced Warfare a little bit more in depth. We're going to talk about some of the new details that came out. So recently, Game Informer has started releasing information. They're going to do a whole month coverage of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. So they're going to be releasing interviews, they're going to be releasing details that they got from Sledgehammer Games. And as it comes out, I will keep you guys informed. So make sure to subscribe if you're new and leave a like on the video if you want to see more information coming out as it does. But today we're going to be covering a couple of new tidbits of information that came out. One of them being a new engine that is being used for Sledgehammer games at Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. And the second being that there is a new audio engine being worked on as well. Now for you guys to remember, about a year back I made a video saying that Call of Duty Ghost was going to have a new engine. And they said they were, they were working on a new one, it was completely different. But as it turns out, they were actually lying. It was not really a, a new engine that they were using. They were still using a very, very heavily modified engine that they've been using since i believe call of duty 2 and the engine is just called iw engine or infinity ward engine and the engine is just modified every single year so the engine is modified for treyarch so that they can do the dolphin dive and now in, in call of duty ghost they have it so that you can do the little knee slider whatever you want to call it but it's essentially it's the same engine they've been using it's just been modified overhauled you know just really beefed up and it's the reason that Call of Duty Ghosts looked a little bit better than Black Ops 2 and why every single year it looks a little bit better because they work on it a little more and they advance it make it a little better. Well recently Sledgehammer was actually doing an interview with Game Informer and they actually let them know that they were working on a completely new engine. They had three years to work on the game and since they were actually able to work on the game for three years they actually have had time to work on a new engine that they're going to be implementing and you know kind of moving away from this engine you know they kind of ditched that one they went next gen and they wanted a new engine that they could use and you can actually see it if you see the trailer for call of duty ghosts and you see the trailer for call of duty advanced warfare you'll notice that it's a lot more smooth in call of duty advanced warfare so what this could mean for the future is that future call of duties could in fact be using this new engine that sledgehammer has been working on since they all share the same engine so we might see if this is the start of a new engine being worked on on, then by the time Black Ops 3, if that's the game that's going to come out, or Call of Duty Ghost 2 comes out, we're going to have a huge significant leap since we already saw that kind of leap from Call of Duty 2 up until Call of Duty Ghost has been essentially the same engine just being reworked and built. Now we're going to have a completely new engine that they're going to be working on that was made from the ground up by Sledgehammer Games and who knows, maybe someone else was helping them out with that. Now that's the first tidbit of information, it's great news for all of us. Now the second bit of information that we're going to be covering is a new audio engine that is being used. Now the people who are actually working on the audio engine for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare are the same people who worked on Dead Space. So the people who made all that really, really, you know, atmospheric sound effects, all the music and stuff like that, they're the ones who are basically going to be working on Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. So the fact that they have this really amazing development team that kind of worked on the sound effects and the sound engine for Dead Space, which is a very critically acclaimed game, then this means that we're going to have a very, very immersive Call of Duty as well coming up for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Now that's all the information I have for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to slap a like and a favorite. It gets it out there for more people to enjoy. And also, if you guys are new and this is the first video that you're watching, then I highly encourage you guys to subscribe. I'm on my way to 70k subs, so if you guys could help me out, that would be very appreciated. I'm going to be uploading a ton of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare news info once it starts coming out throughout the rest of this month, as well as anything that is leaked. So make sure to subscribe so you won't miss a single bit of information on this next Call of Duty. But anyways, guys, until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to slap a like, show some support, leave some comments, let's get a discussion going. And until next time, guys, I'm Xtrism out. Peace.